Now we're at the junction of Devil Slide Trail and the Sycamore Creek Road. If you go left, you'll go up to the Blackhawk Road and back towards Knopcombe Point. If you go right, you drop down in Lower Sycamore Canyon to the community of Blackhawk. When it was the Blackhawk Farm or the Blackhawk Ranch, this was how they drove up or, or rode up on their horses to manage the cattle in the back parts of the ranch. And here at this intersection, you've just got all these different riparian species that are indicative of water here all year round. It may not be on the surface, but these big white trunk sycamores, their feet are in the water. Same with these big leaf maples here. They don't have to be, have their feet in the water, but they often are. Huge buckeyes stretching out to try and fill in the gap in the canopy here at the trail junction. Um, in the winter, their trunks look almost ghostly white. You see uh, alders here. They actually are one of the trees that resist entropy. Streams are always trying to cut. Alders and sycamores can put roots entirely across a stream and catch gravels and rocks and take a cutting stream and turn it into a rising set of cascading pools. And as they catch the sediments, they can actually raise the level of the stream. That's a pretty unusual thing. One of the few other things that does that are beavers. We're going to turn left here, but Seth wants to tell you about the part of Sycamore Canyon that's off to our right. Sycamore Canyon is amazing from one season to the next. Winter and spring are both dominated by water, but as you move into the spring, everything's leafing out. Moving into the summer, the water dries down to isolated pools and the wildlife concentrates around them. But the dominant factor isn't the sound of moving water anymore, it's the smell of volatilizing oils from the chaparral all around you. And then finally, as you move through the hottest temperatures of summer and into the fall, everything dries to a burnt crisp. It still smells like chaparral. Things get dustier and dustier, sleepier and sleepier as everybody waits for the first rains to wake up again. Now you're in the season, those flat shelves of rock turn into shallow pools of water, and that's where the giant water bugs are. Are they really called giant water bugs? Yeah, they are a true bug, and they are a top predator for their size. This all sounds pretty fanciful, so I asked Malcolm if he's ever seen a giant water bug. The, oh, of course I have. They are about mm, two inches long. They've got these nice big pincher-like apparatus, and they use them to grab tadpoles, for example. And yeah, if you pick them up, they'll bite you. You know, lots of ponds, any creek, it's not just here. Sometime, we hope you'll explore Lower Sycamore Canyon on your own. But this tour is turning left to walk along Upper Sycamore Creek Road. In about a quarter mile, that's just five minutes or so, you'll be at the junction of Sycamore Creek Road and Blackhawk Ridge Road. Stop there for segment seven.